Is that the Grim Reaper? Boy oh boy am I excited. We are about to be 100% legal as far as the bike's concerned. As far as I go, I'm still not sure. It's a windy boy today. But basically, there's a big long story. When I got this bike, I had a ton of issues getting it registered and legal. And today we're gonna fix all of that, finally. But first, I'm really hungry. I have not eaten yet today and I'm starving. So we gotta go get a sandwich. Big sandwich guy. Alright, my belly is full. On to the tag agency. It's definitely a bad thing that I'm learning to wheelie now. Like I've been comfortable on naked bikes where the bars just come up into your hands, but on sport bikes where you're leaned over that much further, it's all so new to me. <laughs> okay perfect so i got the bike from guy in texas and he had the title and everything everything checked out the vin number matched the number on the title i wasn't worried about that the only issue was no one had actually gone and gotten the title updated in their name when they bought the bike so it's still in the name of the original owner so when i brought it back here to oklahoma the tag agency wouldn't issue the oklahoma title to me in my name because i didn't buy it from the original owner so i had to go and get a court order for an Oklahoma title for this bike. We're actually supposed to be looking for the tag agency now. I don't know where it's at. It's up here somewhere. I don't see it. Maybe it's over there. There it is. <laughs> I see it. All right, we went in, we got our inspection. Everything is good to go. Just waiting on the title. So anyways, back to the story. Went down to Texas, got the bike, the VIN matched the title, etc. blah blah blah, everything's fine. So I start the process of getting a court order for the title for this bike. Got my court date. If I remember correctly, I brought the bike home early December. Got my court date for early January. I was gonna go to court, get my court order for the title, get the title, and be done with it. But, but, we had other plans. Nothing is that simple. So, <laughs> I ended up getting COVID the end of December and that kind of lasted into January. So I had to reschedule my court date for the court order to February. And then in February, the court was closed because of weather. Because in Oklahoma, nobody can drive on icy roads. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't either, so. Anyways, so court date's rescheduled twice. It's now beginning of March. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you know when you buy a new vehicle and you have like 30 days to get it registered in your name or whatever, you have that kind of grace period. So I get pulled over four days after that's over. I had the bike insured already. I had all my paperwork. I had the court order. I had like the rescheduled dates, both of them. And I showed all that to the fine gentleman with the badge. There's like, you shouldn't even be on the road right now. I could have your bike towed, but I'm not. And I was like, thank you, sir. He still writes me a ticket for not having it registered four days after i'm lost again that's a dead end no idea where that goes cows just gonna do a little ue where was i now we're going into the wind it's so windy so i still get the ticket my court date's delayed twice so now it's early march and i get both my court dates for the ticket continued because i still didn't have my registration because i still didn't have the court order for the title <clears throat> so yeah so it's early march i can finally make it to court i get my court order the judge looks at me for like five seconds i'm like hey i bought a bike in texas he's like okay and he signs it that was it i waited like two and a half months <laughs> i waited two and a half months for that I 10 second interaction. That's a nice house. So I have my court order. I take it back to the tag agency. And also in the middle of all this, we've moved. Remember that part. So I have my court order. I take it to the tag agency. They send it to the tax commission. And then it's like a week. And then the tax commission writes back and says, the VIN number and my name on the court order isn't legible. And I'd have to apply for a new one. What? What? What the So naturally I threw a huge fit. 
not a huge fit. I was just like, hey, can I scan in a high resolution copy of the court order and send it to you so you can send it to the tax commission? I did that. Where am I? That's 169. That's the highway. How do I get there? I keep getting distracted. I'm sorry. I'm also getting heated now that I'm like recounting all of this again. Should I? Should I cut across? I really want to cut across. No, 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 no. So anyways, my name is illegible apparently, or they can't read. I send my high res copy of the court order to the tag agency. They send it to the tax commission. Another week goes by, and then the tax commission responds and says, there's a lien on the vehicle. We can't issue a title for a vehicle that has a lien on it. On the Texas title, there is a clear date and signature for the lien release. And so they tell the tag agency, who then tells me, we can't issue the title because there's a lien on the vehicle. You have to go get a letter of non-interest from the lender or something else, I don't remember. So then I look at the Texas title to try to find the lender that the original buyer took the loan out to purchase this Daytona with. Turns out the lending company changed their name. <coughs> so I find the lending company and I call them and they write me a letter of non-interest which I then send to the tag agency and they send it to the tax commission who finally responds and gives instructions to the tag agency to issue my title. So after all that, I got my tag, which I'm never gonna use. And now I've got my little petty VIN inspection done so I can get my title mailed to me at my new address. What a fun time. Wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. I've also been aimlessly driving around trying to find this park. I feel like there was a nice park nearby somewhere, but I don't know where it is. So yeah, now we are legal, and I finally got everything I need on this bike. Now I can stop worrying about that. So yeah.